The water supply officer is usually the first in pumper. He or she should set up the operation and announce its location to command. After the water supply station is properly set up, it is imperative that the water supply officer controls the traffic within the operation. Rush truck 24, are you empty? Yes. Here's what I need you to do. I need you to enter the refill alley here and make your way to refill station number one. That is the farthest cone away from you. Put your bumper at that far cone. Brush trucks may be coming into the station hot, needing quick fills. The first step in controlling the traffic is to slow down the approaching brush trucks. If a water shuttle operation is set up, it too will be under the control of the water supply officer. A full-scale water supply operation, as seen here, is an effective tool for getting brush trucks refilled in a safe and orderly fashion. Not every refill operation will be on this scale. But notice that this setup allows for fire apparatus traffic to still have the ability to pass this operation on a narrow road. It is imperative to request that law enforcement shut down any road you operate a refill station on. As the incident progresses, the water supply officer may have to address additional needs for the brush truck crews. Things like drinking water for the brush truck crews, fuel for the pony pumps, class A foam, rehab supplies, and lighting for nighttime operations, just to name a few. Brush truck 42, are you empty? We are. Here's what I need to do. Enter the refill alley here behind the AFD Type 7. Refill station number three. Put your bumper at that cone closest to you. The refill operator will assist the brush truck drivers in refilling the brush trucks. He or she will also assist the water supply officer with pump operations. It is important to have all the necessary adapters and fittings readily available for refilling operations. A major safety concern related to refill operations is the practice of refilling tanks with open-ended hose butts. This practice should be eliminated from the fire ground as it can lead to serious injury. Apparatus that cannot be filled using a direct refill connection should be taken out of service for the remainder of the incident.